You're watching UNICEF Television. Dr. Foro Malalai is a rarity, a female doctor in Panjir province, Afghanistan. Her patients are the women living in these vast valleys and in remote villages, often inaccessible by road. The distance between their homes and her clinic is common in rural Afghanistan. The consequence? One of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world. We're facing challenges such as lack of transportation, cultural and traditional values and family issues. Lack of transportation means families don't bring their patients early enough. Compounding the dangers for pregnant women, most abide by a ban on being treated by male doctors. That means that for six million childbearing age women, there are fewer than 13,000 skilled birth attendants. A UNICEF-supported midwifery program is underway countrywide to train female community health workers in life-saving delivery skills. In the south, in Kandahar, an active insurgency is another challenge to be surmounted. As you know, we have security problems in this region. This insecurity affects the provision of several services, including health services. Clinics are closed and physicians and other medical personnel are not ready to provide health services in such regions. We are not able to reopen these health care centers due to refusal of medical personnel to go to these districts because of high risks of insecurity. The mothers and children are affected most. Antenatal care, availability of cesarean section, and skilled female birth attendants are all on the rise. But there are still too many women who are alone in Afghanistan, too far from too few attendants, making the gift of life an all too deadly venture. This is Elizabeth Kime reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.